right, so I had a few people that wanted me to look over the track hawk that we have. Uh, let me take this off. Track hawk that we have for sale here. So I'm gonna do that. Just uh, kind of go over the vehicle a little bit. All right, so I got the vehicle warmed up a little bit now. I'm uh, not gonna do anything too crazy. It's a little cold outside. It's about 39 degrees here in Washington right now. All right, so this is what the steering wheel looks like. It's got the uh, track hawk logo there. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel. It's got some pretty good knurls on it. It's kind of a flat bottom, which is kind of nice. Here's what the display looks like. Like a normal Jeep, I guess. They got their leather. I don't know if this is, no, this is not the Laguna leather. Uh, the seats though. Got the Trackhawk stitched into there. This is the uh, Laguna leather with their kind of like micro microfiber inserts here. Um, here's the shifter. Got launch control and then there are different drive modes over here. Let's just pop this over to sport. All right, so now we're in sport. And I think if we go to, yeah, here, drive modes. So sport mode. Everything's in sport right now. So this is the full 707 horsepower. Uh, it's got 645 foot-pounds of torque. Only way you can tell you're in sport too is if you look right here. Got the little sport flag here. Oh, forgot the uh, carbon fiber, of course. Right there, looks pretty cool. It's a Hellcat engine. 645 foot-pounds of torque. Does zero to 60 in about three and a half seconds, which is you know pretty crazy for an SUV. I do like how they put a Hellcat engine inside of a Jeep. It's like when they first came out with it, I was I was pretty ecstatic about it. And um, I actually wanted one too. I had a F-Pace V6, so it's pretty slow, but of the supercharger one. <laughs> of their supercharger one, you barely have to do anything for it to spool up. I actually wanted to get one of these when they first came out, but you know, they're going for like 100, 120, uh, just crazy money. I mean, you're buying it for, you know, the, the engine, you're getting the Hellcat engine inside of a Jeep. The rest is all just a, a Grand Cherokee, essentially. It's a lot more raw power, <laughs> which I do like. The Range Rover Sport SVRs are nice, but you know, everything's kind of refined. It's a nice drive and everything. This thing though is just completely different. This is the Jeep's, it's like a torque flight automatic transmission, eight speed I believe. And they have their Quadra track, which is their all wheel drive system. I'm not really too well versed in Jeep, so I'm not you know, sure how, I'm not sure how, how well these perform and everything in like adverse conditions or whatever. Supercharger one. <laughs> Definitely the favorite part of this vehicle. No doubt. Pretty comfy. You can tell you're driving a, uh, a big vehicle. It's actually not that bad. So like in sport mode, it actually feels pretty pretty decent, pretty responsive. You can tell it's it's heavy. Uh, but you know, with the, the 707 horsepower, it doesn't feel that heavy. All right, let's see what this thing does on the freeway. package so it's got the I think the 18 speaker Harman Kardon sound system uh, this one's specced with the rear media for your kids also has the gloss black wheel option and then red seat belt option I mean it's it's really fun to drive still well equipped too just from like a daily driver aspect I mean you're not gonna get the best fuel mileage but if you're getting this vehicle you're probably not too concerned about the fuel mileage 
Um, but this one's specced with like the adaptive cruise control. It's got the blind spots. The whole headliner is like a suede, which is pretty sweet. This thing pulls too. It's it's no joke. You can still break traction, which is kind of sick. It's cool. solid under acceleration too which is very nice good visibility actually for the size of the vehicle paddle shifters are a little hard to reach if you're going from like a 10 to 2 position like right here i mean i'm driving with one hand so um if you're driving like right here right here you can't you're not gonna be able to really easy reach you got to be like this i don't have like super big hands either so i mean you're like this reaching over the steering wheel pretty much People have said that this takes a while to load. I'm not sure, you know, what's being powered in here, but I mean, we're, we're still loading. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't that bad. All right, just a quick little video, a little drive around. Overall, I think it's a, I mean, a really cool vehicle. Definitely wouldn't get tired of that supercharger line. I don't think I showed you guys the outside, so let's do that really quick before I put this puppy away. I'll show you guys the outside really quick. Just casually blocking the lanes, whatever. The yellow calipers, this is the ruby metallic, which is pretty nice here. To kind of get a size comparison on how big the vehicle is. And then, you know, we got the quad exhaust right here. Let's pop the hood. So you can see what we're working with under here. There we go. A massive uh, cold air intake box. Supercharged Hemi right here. Little SRT logo. There it is. This is kind of cool. It comes with a little plaque right here. VIN number, model, the production plant with the output. So it's actually Velvet Red Pearl. Black Napa, Harman Kardon, 0 to 60, 3 and a half. Top speed, 180. There's your. Uh, lovely gas mileage massive engine very nice though all right well it's gonna wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions don't forget to leave a comment I have to try and respond to all the comments and if you guys like the video, I'd appreciate it if you would hit that like button, which is going to be down there somewhere, depending on uh, what kind of platform you're on. And I'd appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to my channel to get more, I guess, car review stuff and content about cars. That's kind of what my passion is, so I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.